It's day one of our van build. Yes. We are starting today and the plan is to strip it out and take everything out. The seats, um, there's a TV in the AC unit up there. AC unit and TV. So we're not sure if we're going to take those out and sell them. We're going to we're waiting and see. Yeah, I'm um, sure somebody will want that'll it. That'll be a challenge for that. But we are going to try and sell all the seats um, as well as this divider right here. Yeah. Um, and actually, we, we might keep one row of seats. We've got this row. Can you turn the camera? So this row only has two seats. We're thinking about having this optionally in the front, um, in front of where the kitchen cabinet would be, the countertop and all that. Um, so to have it removable. Yeah, to have it removable. That way, if we want right. it in, for more seats we can have it if we want to take it out and have less seats we can do that too yeah, so we'll so. get started today and hopefully we'll have time to insulate a little bit of it um but we don't have space to put all our seats so we might take them to a storage yeah i think we're gonna have to get a storage for, unit. for now and hopefully we'll sell them, sell them soon yeah so oh we'll are you excited i don't know if i'm more excited oh. or nervous <laughs> okay let's start <laughs> we're gonna right here mm-hmm so I don't think we're gonna be able to do that because it's really easy. Um, you've got these little gray, kind of silverish um, handles here. So you pull that until it kind of clicks back. And there's another one on the opposite side. You can't see it at all, okay? Okay, so you pull that. Once you pull both of them, you can just kind of lift this thing back and out. So I didn't know how hard that was gonna be, but it's super easy. So should we take them straight to the storage unit or should we wait? What do we do? Yeah, I guess we can just go straight over there. That's actually, let's post the stuff and then we'll head over. This is my first visit to Home Depot of probably many, many visits. We are buying some denim insulation today and maybe some Reflectix. Where is Joe? I don't think they have dinner here though. They don't have it? Uh-huh. Okay. Well. So first Home Depot was a strikeout. They didn't have Reflectix. They didn't have denim. They had nothing. They didn't have Reflectix tape. So on to the next one. Went to two different Home Depots. Strikeout. They don't have Reflectix. And we went and we called a third one. They don't have it either. So if you're trying to insulate your van with Reflectix, at least, Go to in, Lowe's. at least in southern San Diego, because yeah. we looking around at the Home Depot when we were in LA trying to just look at building materials, they had it there. So I don't know why they don't have it here. Yeah. So call them first because not all Home Depots have Reflectix. Yeah. Where is Joe? Can anyone find Joe? <laughs> We've got all the Reflectix we need. Return like. Two of these. Yeah. yeah, so we're taking more than we Same need just so that we don't have to come back. Yeah. But it looks like they don't have denim insulation that we want. Some of the seats are already out. It's looking a lot better. This thing was a pain in the butt. Yeah, but all the stuff, it. all the paneling. We got it. But now have it's the right out. Tools. That would have helped if we would have. And now them. we have all this, all this space to work with. Let's go. <laughs> to get these panels out. Um, it's pretty easy. So just find an area where it's kind of, you know, moving away from the wall a little bit so you can get your fingers in there. And then you'll feel there are little areas where um, you've just got these plugs. So if you can see that, let me get in a little bit closer. So then just work your hand down till the next plug. And once you get there, pull out. And across the top too. So you just kind of go all the way around and then this panel will come out. Um, you don't have to remove these little trash things, um, but you will have to disconnect the speakers if you have speakers in the wall. Emma is driving us to the Lowe's because, um, and all the way in Poway, because the ones around us didn't have denim insulation. So it's like a 40 minute drive um, to go out to the one that does. And we have the most beautiful sunset. Like cotton candy. Cotton candy sunset. If you guys recall, this morning we went to different um, Home Depots to try to find the denim, and so we ended up calling a Lowe's here in Poway, and they said they had what we needed. So we drove Let's 45 minutes. See if they do. Let's see if they do. I think this is a van. Like, no, it's not. <laughs> 
So we got some, some lists. lists and some notes from what some people have done. Um, so. Entering the store. <laughs> I'm so happy they have it here. This is what we're looking for. This is what we've been looking for all day. <laughs> How many jeans do you think are in here? <laughs> Than you could ever wear. So this is denim and we wanted this material because apparently it is a lot better than using the other fibers like this stuff which is um it's toxic. Ugh. Having some trouble there? No. Let's go no. ahead. Oh it's all gonna fall off. There you go. All right for the insurance that we won't have to drive all the way back up here. We'll just How are we going to fit this in the car? We'll throw it in the back. We'll throw you on top. <laughs> are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> she is going to be warm with all of that. She can't see over it, but I am at least going it will keep her warm. warm. Or, or, or cool. cool when it's <laughs> hot outside. It's 80% recycled. Yeah. And it's supposed to just be and more natural. And it's not the, the, the stuff that is, what did you call it? Like the, the stuff that pokes you? Yeah, it's fiberglass. Is it's not really fiberglass. Itchy. It's just denim. It's kind of a pain in the ass to put in. And it's I think it off gasses a lot more. Where's our van? Oh. Well, it's not that one. I um, totally thought we were no, we take the car because we drove all the way out here. Two in the front, one in the back. Oh, I think we only probably will need two, but we might as well buy some extra um, just in case. I also got this little kit, um, which I was just using her dad's, which were all in a bag and unorganized, and it was a pain in the butt. It was 25 bucks, normally $50, so. Push that baby in. It's about time. Yeah, shove it in. It's like after you've eaten a big meal and you gotta put your pants on. There we go. That's how it's done. <laughs> Let's go.